Hi, I'm Carla Schaefer, Antique Speeds Designer, and I will be demonstrating a right angle weave tennis bracelet. I'm going to go over the list of tools and supplies needed for this project. Originally, the pattern called for an 11-0 and a 4mm bicone. However, I'm going to be doing it with a 6mm bicone and a hex cut bead, seed bead. So you'll need some um, one tube of hex cut seed beads and six millimeter bicones in two different colors. You'll need 24 in one color and 26 in another color. And you will also need a toggle clasp. In this case, I'm just using a simple sterling um, round toggle. And you will also need fire line. I'm using crystal, but it also comes in the smoke depending upon the color of beads that you're using. And you will need a nipper tool. You will also need a number 12 needle. The first thing you need to do is thread your needle with three yards of the fire line and I do mean three yards of it because this is one of those projects where you really cannot tie in so you're going to need to have a three yard length of fire line and, and thread your needle with that and then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to thread eight of the hex seed beads onto our thread and with the thread being so long you will run into obstacles and problems, but you just double it up as much as you possibly can through the needle to work with. You want to leave a 10 inch tail, and then after we get the eight cylinder beads on there, or hex beads on there, and then we're going to just tie a square knot. So we're going to tie this into a round circle. And a square knot, of course, says right over left and left over right. Now that I've got my circle, I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to run it back through two beads, the first two beads that we strung on. And this is going to position the, the thread and the needle for the next step. All right, so now that we've got the thread run back through the first two beads that we strung, we're going to pick up a crystal. And you may want, if you're using two colors and you want to label them A and B. So I'm going to pick up my first crystal, which is going to be my A color. And I'm going to bring it down onto the thread. And this is going to be a square. So you want to look at these two beads as a side. So this is a side, this is a side here, and then this is a side. So this is the side directly opposite from where my thread is emerging. So I want to go in the opposite direction and pull my thread through, thus bringing that crystal through. And it's going to sit in this square. I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. Now you can see how this, how it sits right there in the square. And throughout the bracelet, when we're adding our crystals, we want them to all go in the same direction and you'll see that as I go on to the next step. Okay, what I've done what I'm what I have done now is I picked up six more of the hex bead and we're gonna add our next square. And so we're emerging from this thread from this bead here. So all I'm gonna do is I've got my six threaded. All I'm gonna do is bring my needle the opposite direction of that and we're, again, we're working on sides here. So we pass through two beads. And all I'm going to do is pull my thread through. And we're going to, and we only thread six because we're using two beads from this last side, which equals our eight for the square. So again, we have created yet another square. Okay, again, I, what I've done here is I went through all of this, this whole circle again, to reinforce the circle with my thread. And now all we're going to do is from this point, we're going to pick up another A crystal. And again, work this as sides. So this is, this is a side, this is a side, this is the opposite side of this one. So I want to run my thread, rather my needle, through these two bottom seed beads. And bring my crystal up to the square. And again, as you can see, the crystals are sitting diagonally to each other. 
So they're going in the right direction. Now, on this, after we've entered the second crystal, on this step, you're always going to run your thread, your needle, back up into this, these two seed beads here. So we're going to go up to the top of the square, and we're going to start our third square. Okay, we're ready for the third square, which is going to start our second row and our second colorway. So again, I've threaded six of the hex beads, and I'm going to run the needle back through these two beads. so that we formed our next square. As I said earlier, we want all of our bicones to line up the same. So if I was to add my crystal here, it wouldn't, it wouldn't follow the same pattern. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run our thread through these two, the next two, and again, I reinforce the circle. So you reinforce the circle again and run it through the next two hex beads. And of course, working with this much thread, you do get knots and gnarls and tangles, and you just need to pull them through. And if you get a knot, you just need to work it out. Actually, I'm hung on my crystal here. There we go. Now we're going to be ready for the crystal. And we're going to use the second color, which I'm using. This is gray opal and black diamond that I'm using. So again, this is my side. This is my opposite side, so I want to bring my needle through these two. And we're just going to alternate colors A and B for every two squares. And now again, we're going to pick up six hex beads and start our next square. Okay, again, I am now, I've reinforced the circle, and I'm ready for my second color B. And again, this is the side. This is the side opposite. If you look at those as sides, then it makes it much easier to keep it straight. And again, as I said earlier, Every time you do this bottom, the, your second color, or your second bead in your color, then you want to run up through those next two beads above so that we are prepped and ready for the next row. Okay, I've reinforced the circle, and I need to come up through these top two here so that my bicone will be going in the right direction. So I'm going to pick up my color B, and again, these are your sides. This is a side. This is side. This one's the direct opposite side, so I'm going to run my needle the opposite way through those beads so that that bicone sits diagonally in the square. And again, I'm going to start this second part square of this third row, and then basically the rest of the bracelet, this is, this is what you do until you get to the desired length. So again, I'm going to add six more hex beads to this bottom to form our next square and keep your tension tight reinforce your circle okay and I'll be ready for the neck the last crystal on this row and then when I come back I will show you how to end it and put your clasp on